Hello guys, the first video in Android Volley tutorial series. Before going to create an Android application with Volley, you must have some basic idea about Volley. So in this video, I'm going to show you a simple presentation that give you some basic idea about Volley. So Volley is an HTTP library that makes networking for Android apps easier and most importantly faster. Volley is developed by Google and introduced during Google I.O. 2013. Volley was available through the Android open source project repository. Here are some advantages of using Volley. Automatic scheduling of network request allows multiple concurrent network connections support for request prioritization you can cancel a request or block of request ease of customization you can easily manage your application ui with the data fetched asynchronously from the network so now here we are going to consider async task and volley. So here I am going to create, here I show a simple animation that demonstrates why we need to use volley instead of async task with HTTP client or HTTP URL connection. So this animation will demonstrate the advantages of use, advantages of volley over async task. So here we consider an Android application that download some data from a remote server and display the data on a list view. So first we are going to implement the application using async task. After that we implement the same application using Volley. So here we consider two test cases of the same application. So first here we are going to implement the application using async task. So here is our Android application. So when user click the button, the application sent a request to the doing background method available with the async task. So in async task, there is a background thread or worker thread is available. And here is our main thread. So when user click the button, the application sent a request to the doing background method in async task. And the doing background method, that means the worker thread, prepare an HTTP request and send the request to the remote server. So here the worker thread send the HTTP request to the remote server. Now the server process the request and make the HTTP response and send back the HTTP response to the worker thread. Now the worker thread hand over the response to the main thread and main thread display the data on the list view. So this is the first test case of the application using async task. Now we are going to consider the second test case of the same application using async task. Suppose the user rotates the device. So whenever user rotates, the activity recreates. Again the same thing happens. The main thread called the doing background method. So the worker thread prepare the HTTP request and send the request to the remote server. The server process the request and send back the response to the worker thread. The worker thread hand over the response to the main thread and main thread display the data on the list view. So as you can see here, it is a waste of resources like memory and bandwidth. Of course, there is a huge impact on application performance. So this is one of the main drawback of using async task. Now we are going to implement the same application using Volley. Here also we consider the two test cases. So now we are going to implement the same Android application using Volley. So in Volley, there are three threads are available, a main thread, a cache thread and network thread. But in the case of async task, 
there is only two threads are available main thread and a worker thread but here we have three threads are available so when user click the button the main thread send a request to the cache dispatcher the cache dispatcher send a request to the cache thread the cache thread check the cache memory for the data if the data is not found in the cache memory it is represented as a cache miss so here there is no data available on the cache memory so the, so the cache thread inform the cache dispatcher it is a cache miss in that case the cache dispatcher send the request to the network thread the network thread prepare the http request and send the request to the remote server now the server process the http request and make the http response and send it back to the network thread now the network thread send the response back to the cache dispatcher the cache dispatcher send the response to the cache thread the cache thread save the data inside cache memory for future purpose at the same time the network thread send the response to the main thread and main thread display the data so this is what happens when you using a volley instead of a sync task so this is the first test case now we are going to consider the second test case suppose if the user rotates the screen in that case the activity is recreated so here again the same thing happens the main thread send the request to the cache dispatcher the cache dispatcher send the request to the cache thread the cache thread search on the cache memory for data so here the data is available on the cache memory in the previous test case we already saved the data inside cache memory so now here the data available on the cache memory so in this case the cache thread inform cache dispatcher it is a cache hit and the cache thread send the data back to the cache dispatcher and cache dispatcher send the data to the main thread main thread display the data on the activity so this is the second test case as you can see here there is no need to use the network thread or the remote server so here we save some resources like memory and bandwidth of course this will improve the application performance so this is an advantages of uh, advantages of volley library over async task so from the very next video onwards we are going to working with volley library i hope you understand the concepts Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.